Welcome to Lacan Pine Tropicana Beach Resort, nature's blessing to human consciousness. With its environmental best practice, visitors to Africa's most exciting beach resort includes His Royal Majesty's ambassadors, diplomats from various countries of the world, men and women seeking spiritual rebirth with motherland, the continent of Africa, and fun seekers from all over the world.
just a minute silent. Let's we bow our heads. May their souls rest in peace. The fish and chicken that you guys have just consumed. <laughs> A lot of slaves left right from this area and left. And to come back to this same area to me is like coming home. It's a pilgrimage. Like they go to the Holy Land to feel the same thing. Being of African descent to come back to Africa and to be here in the motherland is nothing that you can explain. And to me, I hope that those is your first time here that you will reconnect with Mother Africa and hopefully you will never leave her. From my first time coming here, I told the ambassador, I said I would never leave Africa and I've been here over 30 times since 2008. And I hope that this will not be your last time, but this will be your first and everlasting until you die coming back to the motherland. You have a pigmentation, you have a color, that distinguishes you from everybody. You have a color that whatever you do, wherever you go, no matter what you become, they will refer to you as an African. And I can tell you, no matter what you do, unless you tell anyone where you're from, nobody knows where you're from. Very impressive to me when I step off the plane, a young lady and a gentleman look at me and said, welcome home. Don't know who I am, and I guess the great might here might have tell us something, but to look at me and say, welcome home. I cannot find the words to tell you how it make me feel. to see my daughters and brothers look at me and say, hey dad, welcome home. It's a good feeling. And that say to me, the ocean separate us, but our spirit all raised together. Wow. Wow. See? Woo, so like that. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. All right, all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> From the first time you said put yeah, it I know. That's it. <laughs> What's wrong with the name? Show us a little something. 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 Show
I just want to say I'm honored to uh, be on this great soil in Africa and um, I'm glad to have the wonderful welcome and I look forward to the awesome homecoming experience with y'all game this week while I'm here and great thanks to Ambassador Wanley and Chief Walls for allowing me to be able to come in and have this experience. Thank you so much. My name is Bokola Shonuga. I'm Director of Media and Public Relations for the Motherland Beckons. We are La Campagne Tropicana in the Lekki Peninsula area of Lagos, Nigeria. Today we're welcoming the President of the World Conference of Mayors, Mayor James L. Walls Jr. and his team from the United States. Accompanying him is Bishop Dr. Diana Williams, Chief of Staff of the World Conference of Mayors, and Bishop Dr. Alison Abrams, Deputy Chief of Staff of the World Conference of Mayors. Motherland Beckons is an initiative floated in 2004 as a platform for the creation and sustenance of the urge in Africans, in diaspora, and all lovers of Africa worldwide to visit Africa on a recurrent basis. It is a movement and a spiritual calling for them to come home and be part of the African experience through traveling and thus directly impact on the economic development of the continent. Motherland beckons is designed to be what pilgrimage is to Muslims and Christians who travel to Saudi Arabia and Israel annually and thereby generate significant economic benefits in the region of trillions of dollars for both destinations that have been identified as religious tourism zones. For the sustenance of this movement, Motherland Beckons has created opportunities for tour practitioners at home and abroad via design of tailor-made and exciting tour to Africa to showcase the diverse and colorful African culture and heritage to the world. Motherland Beckons also designed content for tourism worldwide to come and enjoy the vast cultural hospitality that is available on the continent. It is my great honor standing here on Africa's land at La Campagne Tropicana in Lagos to introduce to you one of Africa's handsome heroes, my mentor, Ambassador Otumba Olawande Akiboboye. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank it is you. such an honor to be with you. Good to be here. And right here, I mean, I really feel so great to be standing here with you. You've done a tremendous job that we can never thank you enough for. So Africa at large, we're very proud of what you've done. And we really, you made, you've made us proud. And this is a selfless act that you started over 25 years ago. Now, I know that today we're welcoming the president of the World Conference of Mayors. How did they, and you've actually, they've been invited here uh, for the declaration of Lucky of the Lekki Tourism Zone. Zone. And also, there is a plan, they're visiting Badagri Festival, where the president will be honored with the chief sense title by the Akran of Badagri. How, how did they become part of it? Which is a beautiful thing, I think. Africa beckons, who, I mean, they're the best group, I believe, to bring in. So how did all this come about? You know, the World Conference of Mayors is made up of 22,000 mayors. And about 12,000 of them live in the United States of America. And 650 of that number are African-Americans. 
I think about in 2008, um, in one of the Motherland Beckham's programs called the Beach Carnival, Marcos Gavi Beach Carnival, we brought in a few males for the first time to the continent of Africa. And Mayor James L. Walls, uh, that is the president of the World Conference of Mayors today, was part of that trip. And uh, we met for the first time and we, of course, uh, exchanged a lot of views about the concept of motherland beckons, how it can help and enhance Africa. Because the concept of the World Conference of Mayors basically is for them to see how they can leverage off of each other's strengths and butter a lot of opportunities that they have within their different cities. So I think the World Conference of Mayors is, uh, is, is um, on board with this fully. The, um, the what uh, the Congressional Black Caucus is also part of this program. We have uh, the Caribbean, uh, different islands on the Caribbean being part of it. And we expect to extend it. This is not an extension, this is not a call. Only to people of African descent. It's an invitation. It's an invitation. <laughs> and that invitation is not just for people of African descent alone, right. also for lovers of Africa. But I, I mean, we, I, I've, I interacted with them earlier, I'm talking about Mayor Walls, and I can see that it's so passionate about Africa. I, I see, I feel, I feel it. I think, you know, uh, I tell you, passionate is not the word. I think they, they, they are excited. Well, maybe, not, maybe that's just, I can't find the words, right. you know, because they, 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 they feel that this is something that should have been done a long time ago. And, and they, they find themselves to be blessed to be part and this of it. And these are the kind of people you need. So Absolutely. Really. Absolutely. So, yeah, I wish you continued success. So we'll be back. Us. I wish us continued success. I'm ah. part of this movement now in a big way. <laughs> Thank you. As we say, Motherland beckons and the World Conference of Mayors have heeded the call. I'm so excited to introduce to you now the president of the World Conference of Mayors, Mayor James L. Walls Jr. Welcome to Africa. Well, this is not your first time, but it's such a great pleasure that you're joining us again. And you look beautiful in your attire. Thank I you. I see you're ready. You're ready to go. I'm ready. Please tell us how, how you become part of this whole movement and what Motherland Beckons means to, to you. Well, Motherland Beckons uh, has truly been a movement for me. First time coming here to Africa and coming to Nigeria in 2008, I had a chance to meet the president of this resort who also is the founder of Motherland Beckons and he started the movement, Wale Akimoboye. And ever since 2008, I've been back over 30 times and every time I come back home, it's like coming home for the first time. So that's why I know for me, it's truly a movement because it's something that is now ingrained in my soul. Thank you so much. Next to the president is Bishop Dr. Diana Williams, Chief of Staff, Chief of, Staff of the World Conference of Mayors. Ma'am, thank you so much. It's a great pleasure to have you in Africa again. I understand you've been here so many times. Yes, as um, I met uh, Ambassador Wale, he, he teased me because my first entry into uh, Motherland Beckons was through South Africa. And having an opportunity to minister in South Africa but coming home to any part of Africa as a child of the African diaspora, it gives me another chance to reconnect spiritually on another level with my ancestors and understand the greatness that we came from as kings and queens. And it gives me that extra pride when I go back. I always find myself walking with my head up high because I understand that I'm connected to ancient history. I'm connected to a people who, understand, who understood who they were and we have the responsibility through Motherland Beckons to heed the call so that people around the world will know how connected we are. Thank you so much, Bishop Dr. Diana Williams, my sister. And now to my right is the Deputy Chief of staff of the World Conference of Mayors, Bishop Dr. Alison Abrams, 
thank you so much for coming. So what's your experience been so far? Um, as you know, this is my first time on this great African soil. I do believe that there's an urgency in the atmosphere, in the spirit realm, to heed the call to come uh, to uh, the motherland. And so I am determined after coming to help push the Motherland Beckons Project. Uh, this has been a great experience for me. I do know that people of African descent need to come and just touch the ground, let their feet walk in the soil, let their hair feel the wonderful wind that's blowing out here. Also to see just the water and everything that Africa has to offer. And so I just believe that people of African descent, as well as those who love Africa, those who love people, those who love nature, those who love the beauty of what God has created, need to come here and just experience what this land has to offer. And so I've been blessed and I'm excited and truly happy that I was able to land here in this wonderful, wonderful place. Thank you, we're so happy to have you. And now we have with us Another doctor. Oh my God, I'm the only one that's not a doctor here. I'm doing all the talking though. Dr. Wellington Gibson, thank you so much sir, for coming. And when you arrived in Nigeria yesterday, you said something that's so poignant that happened to you at the airport. Yeah, Tell us about that. I am grateful to be back home, not as a visitor. When I step off of Delta Airline yesterday and hit motherland soil, a young lady and a young man look at me and they bow and they say, Dad, welcome home. And when you look at the expression on their face when they say welcome, it, was, it is something that word cannot express to look in someone's face and see how proud they are to look at someone of their color and say, welcome home. I've never seen them before in my life, but I believe we all have someone that represents us. I saw something today while I was walking from one village to the next, and it blew my mind because as a kid growing up in the Caribbean and understand culture, what to, it was amazing to see a young couple sitting on a coconut tree mm -hmm. with two elders sitting away back from them to observe their behavior. And it is gratifying to understand that the father of that son teach him how to respect another man's house to say, hey, I respect your house, I respect your custom and tradition. I will not defile your daughter. I will appreciate with all the respect to deal with her and you. And it is can I find the words to say thanks. Thank you, sir. And I'm going to also have the ambassador of Tumba Kibo Boye add to what everyone has said so far. They've said it all in the most appropriate manner. Just hearing them talk, the only aspect of it I like to just talk about and mention is the fact that there are certain feelings and emotion that cannot be put into words because you trivialize it. Uh, sitting back a few years back and thinking about the, the way that I feel that Africa should go and being in the presence of Chief Dr. James L. Walls, Chief of Staff here, the two bishops and doctor, and even yourself. I think I'd rather not say much because words cannot really represent. I can't find the words to represent how I feel. Bishop Dr. Allison Abrams, my sister, same thing. You experiencing this for the first time. What I, what I realize, and I've gone to a few African countries, something happens when you touch the soil. Something happens when you just put your feet on this ground. And I'm not, maybe, Oh, we're all African, so I feel it. I'm not just saying this. So when you came last night, I see that you were just trying to take everything in. What, what, what would you say to people in your community? Uh, basically, don't believe the old hype. Come and create your own hype. Okay, thank you, very simple. Mm -hmm. And my uncle, my brother here, your own words, what would you tell people 
watching right now about this movement, Mother, Mother Lamb Beckons? The only thing I can say, the only thing I will say to them is, a picture say a thousand words. So come on board, join us, and let's make it happen. Okay, lastly, I'm going to go to Ambassador Olawan Lee Akibaboye. Again, we, we wouldn't all be here without you. And I believe that you have been called, you, you've been chosen. And I mean that sincerely. So have you closed this up? Mother Lamb Beckhams, here they call. All right. I've been looking for a place to call my home, even though this is my home, Africa. I'm home. And I am committed to be part of this movement to pass this on to the next generation. Thank you so much. Mother Lamb Beckhams, so come home. For about 30 years now, I've been traveling around the world, and mostly I've been in America. And my spirit has now rested. I, I, I didn't feel at home in America. I always wanted to come back to Africa, come back to Nigeria. And having the opportunity through Motherland Beckons, is, is, I, I couldn't even begin to describe how great I feel that someone like Otumba Kiboboye who came home 25 years ago to create where we are now, Motherland Beckham, La Campagne Tropicana. He created these not even knowing what would happen in the future, but I am so glad that he had created something that I can come back to and be part of. Because I believe that it takes great collaboration of minds, of great minds and spiritual connection to create Motherland Beckons, to take Motherland Beckons to the next step. And I am so happy to have found home, to have come back home. When Motherland beckons, heed the call. Thank you so much for watching.